Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do some more cave exploration. I had such a fun time in the last episode uh, going to get the artifact of the hunter that I think what we'll do is we're going to explore that cave uh, d down in the southwest. Um, you know, it's, it's about as far southwest as you can go on the map. And we've been in that cave before, but we never went all the way into it. We just went part way into it. Uh, so we're going to do that in this episode. That's our main thing. Before we get started with that, though, I've got a couple things to update you guys on. I did make a an industrial forge and set it up on a little patio out here. So that's all done. I hit level 89. And so now I can make uh, the industrial cooker, but I need to I need to get some more metal. I think I have everything else. Mm, oils, oil might, I might not have enough oil. So, so I got to basically farm up some more metal and some oil for that. Uh, so I'll, of course, work on that off camera. Um, I found a perfect tame female wolf. Uh, so I tamed her up and just put her in the crowd fridge. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I have a crowd fridge now too. Um, so she's just sitting in there. I'm going to, you know, animals that I'm using for mating, I'm, I'm just going to keep in here until it's time to actually mate them. And then once their offspring is born and is better than the mom and dad, then the mom and dad will become um, just utility animals and get replaced by their offspring. And, and that's how breeding works in this game. Uh, Mythical has now joined me uh, in the tribe. He's, of course, offline right now, but he, he is now a member of the tribe of OG or whatever the hell I called it. I <laughs> don't remember. And let's see. I think that mostly gets you guys updated on where we are. Um, Myth found a... Another blueprint for an Ascendant pop shun, a Pump Shotgun that's 280 damage. The one I had was 230-something. So I made one of those, and yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much where we are at this point in time. So um, let's go ahead and get stuff that we need to go caving. Um, so we'll bring the usual... Uh, I'm going to bring some Kaelian. I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold down there because the cave we're going to has an underground extinction biome uh, so let's just bring a little bit of everything and then we have you know a little bit of everything and then once I get that industrial cooker going then I'm going to make huge batches of all this stuff because it's just a pain in the butt to do it in the um, you know in the in the uh, the primitive cooking pots you can do it but it's so much nicer in the you know the normal cooking pot Okay, so let's see. I don't think we'll need energy brew. That's I, I don't often run out of stamina in this game on my own character. Uh, different story with the dinos, of course. And, yeah, I think that's all we need. So we got these four stews here. Am I missing one? Yeah, enduro. I was going to say. We should have more of that. Okay, we've got a full stack, well, a stack of 100 of ammo, a stack of 100 of shoddy shells. We've got some water. we got some stimulant in case we get knocked out. Made myself a, a GPS as well. And I think, I think that's it. I think we're good. Okay, so do I want to, you know what? Just in case we run into a situation like we did yesterday when we did the hunter cave, where we need to go in water, I'm going to bring some some scuba gear too. So that way we have it if we need it. And nah, I, I think I'm just going to rely on the stews. I've got 30 fortitude, which is enough to take the edge off of the extreme temperature. So that, along with the soups that I'm bringing, we should be fine temperature-wise. So that way we don't have to haul around extra armor for that sort of thing. All right, very cool. Let's uh, jump on Vampira. Vampira. I don't know if it's pronounced Vampira or Vampira. I'll have to look into that. Hey, look, we got a, a saber tooth down here. Okay. I'm still on the lookout for a, a, a male 150 RG. That's a 140. Um, you know, because I got a 150 female, and once we get the 150 male, then we have a breeding pair. Okay. So, yeah, let's head on over to that cave and go investigate it and see what the deal is. 
All right, in case some of you didn't see the previous episodes when I was in here, or you just don't know where this cave is, um, let me bring this up. It is at 86.4, essentially. Uh, so again, just about as far to the... Well, actually, I guess that's... It's not all the way in the extreme southwest. It's more in between 80 and 90 and then 4. So, yeah. There you go. All right. Put that down. And let's head on in. So the last time we came in here, we couldn't... Uh, you know, we could bring our flyers in, so that is one of the best advantages of having the Desmodus. This uh, terminal here is for the dragon fight, I believe. Let's look at it again. Yeah. So this is how we do the, the dragon fight, which um, we we'll probably will attempt at least once before we're finished with this playthrough. And then there's a whole mess of metal down here. So those are all metal nodes, which I have come in and harvested before. But this is about as far as I've been. I haven't really gone gone past this point. There's more Desmodus in here too. Look at that. Let's uh, see what level they are. Um, man, it's really hard to see. I think they're right there. No. Let me do like a little sweep with the scope. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't see him. Um, oh. That's cool. Okay, so... Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I maybe those were just stalactites that I saw. They kind of looked like. No, those sh those are definitely Desmodus up there. Oh, they're invisible. Sneaky, sneaky. A twenty-five and a sixty, and I think I saw one over here too. No wonder I couldn't see him. How about that, huh? Well, and a 55, yeah. So the uh, the bat um, night vision also allows you to see invisible creatures. So way down here is the underground extinction biome, which we we are gonna go check out. But let's go let's go over here first and see what's through this doorway. This is the pathway, if, you, if you're going down there on land animals, the pathway to get down there is right over there. Um, let's turn this back off for a second and see how well we can potentially see, which isn't much, very well. It does have some light. Um, what if we also put this on? Eh, it helps a little bit. Oh, this is cool, man. This is new territory for me. Haven't haven't been this far. Got those big giant braziers on the wall. We got a side room here with some more metal. Just kind of see what's down this way. Okay, so it goes down the stairs. Huh. All right, so is this another one of those break the stone thingies? Sure is. some onks in here.
Um. Hey, what the hell? It's like my guy's not attacking. No, don't latch. What? Okay, we got some weird shit going on here. My bat's not attacking for some reason. I don't know why. I gotta figure this out. But let's get see if we can get away from these guys. The attack button's not working. Um... Yeah, I think it'll probably be okay. Is it because I have the torch out? I didn't realize that. The torch cancels the attack. Well, that kind of sucks. Huh. All right. I didn't think the torch would cancel the attack because it doesn't cancel, you know, other actions when you're holding it, like picking berries and stuff. All right. Well, we're going to have to... Um, that's fine. I mean, we'll just use um, night vision so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that the torch would prevent that from happening. Did we get him? Yeah. These, these bats are so much easier to fight with in the air because you can strafe and back up. Unlike the Argent. I want to be careful of the ar Arthopleurus because of their acid spit. Let's see if we can pull a couple of these guys around the corner here. No, 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 spit. Crap. That's not good. Alright, let's go back over here and look at our armor. Damn it, Jim. Oh, we're fine. I guess it didn't get us. We need to drop a little bit of weight here. I don't care about the arrows. In fact, I'm even drop the the spoiled meat. It's so easy to get now. There's no point in taking up weight. We'll keep the blood. Okay, let's go back in. This is priority target number one. Wow, lots of nastiness in this little cavern. Okay, we have another Arthopleura up above there. And a scorpion. I, I 
can try and snipe him, but it's just so damn dark. Um, what if we stayed on the bat? There we go. That's the way. Hmm. Don't know if I'm hitting it, though. I think it's maybe glitched inside of the... Either that or it's dead. It's not moving at all. I think it's dead. Maybe it got glitched or something. And okay, we killed the onk there. Scorpion. There we go. Oh, no, it's not dead. I cannot hit it, though. It's just, it's got to be, it's just glitched. That's why I can't do anything. All right. So, oh, this is cool. So we have like an old uh, mine here with some... Mining cart tracks and stuff. Very neat. I wonder, is there anything inside the carts? No, I think those are just for decoration. That is really cool. You know what? Let's let's take a look um, and see if the carts are. Well, I've got to deal with this guy first. Okay, I think we're clear for the moment. You're uh, yeah, you're on passive. Just want to see if these contain anything. The, they don't appear to, or at least not those. The one that's up on the up here seems like it has something inside of it, but that could just be decoration. Yeah, that's just decoration. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and push on here. We came up from down that way. There's some something over that way, something big over that way. Kill all these enemies, just stink. Just to get them out of the way, get XP, you know, the usual reasons. One thing that really throws me off with this bat is that the space bar, to me, always seems up. But it actually makes the bat go down. And the X key makes it go up. And it just, it, it seems bass backwards to me. But I just gotta get used to it, I guess. I don't want to change the function of the spacebar because it's used for a lot of other things, too. And that might make a bad situation worse. Okay, so what is going on over here? Oh, this is just above that area. Okay.
Wow, look at this, you guys. This is so cool. How light is it in here? Yeah, reasonably light. We need to drop some weight again. I'm gonna grab those and then drop everything. And yeah, we'll keep the Argent Talents because we're going to need those for stuff. Don't think we need any of the rest of this. Need that stuff either. Oh man, this is so neat. Okay, let's... There's another chamber that goes that way. There's a big doorway here. We'll go investigate that in a second. Let's just look, see what else is in here. Got some more enemies over here. Oh, yep, yeah, I gotta take the torch off again. Another chamber going off that way. Man, this place is a maze. It's a maze. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Is that a door? Put this back on. I just have to remember to take it off if we have to fight again. Okay, well, um, so we came through the mining tunnel, which was a side tunnel off from the main tunnel. And I wonder if the main tunnel goes and intersects back through that way. But since we're in this chamber, let's go see what's in this room over here, first of all. Aren't the plura? Okay. Can we do this? Oh shit! Not at the right angle. Well, here. Got him. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go up to here and see what our angle is. Yeah, see, I can't go to the any further to the left for him. So what we have to do is try it from this angle. Nope. That's uh that's kind of tricky. Well, you know what though, if it's just him, we'll kill him this way. Oh, it's not just him. Armor okay? Yep, that's okay. All right, so what do we got going on in here? Big old ribs of something. Some creature. We haven't found any loot. Oh, geez, look at that. Piles of bones. 
That's creepy. Creepy, creepy. There's a rune. Okay, so we have some kind of sacrificial altar or something here. More bones. Does it give us any information if we just look at it? Doesn't appear to. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's go and see where this side room over here comes out at. Got another door there. Door there. Ooh, lava, lava land. Okay, yeah, let's take one of these to help counter the heat. Crazy looking. There doesn't appear to be any enemies in here. Oh, okay, so we found an exit. Up in the mountains. Okay, where are we? Hmm. This seems to suggest that there is... One of those fortresses is really near, uh, close by here. I don't see it though. All right. Well, here, let's go back in and back the other way and continue exploring. So I don't see anything in this lava cavern. Maybe they're going to add things into it later. I mean, there are, there aren't even any enemies in here, let alone loot crates or anything else that I can see. Nasty. So my guess is that if we go out that door, it'll probably intersect back to where we originally were. Okay, so it brings us out into this room. Yep, this is where we This is where we came from. Um Wasn't there another direction though? How did we Oh, this is the side room we went through. Okay. Gotcha. All right, so this is that room then.
Well, the thing that's a bummer about this cave is that there was there's no loot crates in here. There should be at least a couple loot crates, especially if you have to fight all these cave monsters. Still very cool, though, to look at. All right, let's go down to the extinction, underground extinction biome, and uh, scope that out. Let's see what's down there. So if you were going to go down on foot, there's, this is the little ramp that you would take. Let's get this light out. At least I think this is an underground extinction biome. It look, kind of looks like it. I've never played on, on any either one of the Genesis maps, so this... Maybe this is a Genesis biome, or maybe it's even... I don't think it's a... I don't think it's um, an... Aber aberration. Aberration. I don't know. I can never figure out how to say that. Aberration. I think it's aberration. It's got a little bit different look to it than that. Oh, I'll bet you we could get fungal wood down here. We need fungal wood to make... There was something we needed to make with that. There's a lot of nasties over there, though. Um, let's go... Oh, those are, um... Those are those stalker things, aren't they? Or ravagers. Okay. That means that this probably is than a another aberration biome it just kind of looks a little bit different than the the cave we were in the other day unless it's unless um, ravagers are also in Genesis or whatever I want to um No, nope, aberrant. Okay. Yeah, so this is an aberration biome then. Okay. Are we safe to hop off of here for a second? Do we get fungal wood from this tree? We got mushrooms, but we didn't get fungal wood. What about this? Organic polymer. Oh my gosh. 55 of them too. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Uh, what happens when we harvest this? Do we just get crystal? Yeah, yeah, crystal and stone. So that's just the usual. I'm going to throw that out because it's pretty darn heavy. And easy enough for us to get back at the base. We will keep the polymer, but I'm not going to get a bunch of it right now. Um. Okay, so... So those trees don't give fungal wood. Oh shit, something's coming. Oh, just a carno. Desmodus. Um, I'm pumping speed on the Desmodus now because damage is melee's at a thousand. So, yeah. Give me this, give me this, give me this, and that, and drop everything else. Okay. Let's go take out this Carnotaur. Maybe you can't get fungal wood. Um in this biome. I don't know. Lots of Carnotaurs down here, man. How deep 
is that water? We don't want to get kicked off our mount here. We have to watch out for those ravagers. This is just the same thing, right? Yeah, just wooden thatch. What does this give? That's just normal plants, okay. What about this stuff? You can't really pick that stuff. Is it harvestable in some way? Uh-uh, so that's just decorative. What about these guys? These guys... No, just normal plants. Okay. Um, this tree over here with the fungus on it, that might give us fungal wood. Let's try it. I am trying to watch out for those ravagers. Nope, just normal wood. Hmm. Here, we might as well grab the polymer. Okay, well, let's fly around a little bit more. And we'll have to figure out the fungal wood thing later. I would have figured that tree would do it because it's got the fungus on it, but that is not the case. Looks like this might be the end of the cave. There's one of those weird flying thingamadoodles down there. Get out of here, Arthur Oh, look at this. Big, huge uh, skeleton thingy. That's cool. Oh, it's got a rune inside. Let's grab it. Nice. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this cavern. Uh, not really seeing any any other place to go. We're back to our original old stomping grounds here. We'll fly over and take a look at the base. I did leave um did I leave two critters there or one? I can't remember. Yeah, this is a neat area. But it's kind of a it was kind of a hard place to to get started in. Um we need to be on the lookout for max level Theras too. Very gorgeous location though. The base and the taming pin still there. And we still have our our bird here too. Is there any um still food in there? Not the kind the bird needs. Thing is, though, is when nobody's around, it goes into stasis anyway, so it's not like it's actually starving. Yeah. Good old base. All right, guys. Well, um, I think I think we're gonna continue uh, doing these cave explorations because they're very interesting and fun. For one thing, um, there's the potential for us to you know find loot crates even though that was not the case in this cave we just did and it'll help you know me discover where the other artifacts are I haven't I haven't 
you know, read up on the map to figure out where they are. I, I'm, I'm not opposed to doing that, and I probably will start doing it to some extent. But I kind of also want to discover some of that stuff for myself, too, you know. So it'll be a situation where I'll, I'll put some effort into it, but if it, if it starts to get to the point where, okay, this is just taking too much time, then I'll look it up kind of thing. So anyway, um, so let's tentatively plan on doing another cave in the next episode, there's a cave in the swamp that I don't even know if I can bring uh, the bat into. And if it's anything like the cave in the swamp on the island, it's probably going to be like poison and disease and crap like that. But we could poke our head in there and just kind of see uh, what the deal is with it. I would also like to get myself a Quetzal. Um, and Mythical told me that they are kind of up in the northeast part of the map. I have not seen one myself yet, but he said he's seen a couple of them. Um, so that's also on the to-do list. And we're still on the lookout, you know, for a level 150 male Rex, 150 um, UDs, and 150 Therizinosaurs. There's a UD right there. Let's see what it is. It's a 135. Okay. And so yeah, that's kind of kind of the plan. I'm still definitely uh, still very much enjoying uh, Fjorder here. It's such a cool map, and uh, looking forward to continuing on this map for the time being. So with that being said, thank you everybody for hey look, there's a cave over there. We might uh, we might have to investigate that cave too and see what's going on. Um, and since I still have you, let's go check out this drop real quick. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a Pariser, Pariser Ethereum saddle. Journeyman, okay. Lame. <laughs> is what it is, though. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.